Hello Sagittarius, and welcome to the Tarot Room. My name is Robin, and Sagittarius, today we're going to do a general reading. Let's talk about your stuff here and now. <laughs> I can swear to you, in my last Sagittarius general reading, we got this card. Alright, so here and now, and loyal heart. So Sagis is a collective, we apparently are learning how to live in the moment. That's what this card is all about. If we live in the past, we're depressed. If we live in the future, we're anxious. If we live in the present, it's a gift. I say it every time I see that card. It is the teachings of Lao Tse. And then we have loyal heart. So sad, you might be loyal to someone. Someone might be loyal to you. Or this is just about showing loyalty uh, to yourself. So let's see here as we go through what's talking about, what's going on, what we're getting into here, Saji. Let's grab the cycle card. What cycle are Saji's in right now? What's the general energy around that? Talk to us, baby. It's off. Okay. Let's recut that. They can't get a card out here, Saj. All right, talk to us. Here we go. There we go. What do we got? You and your loved ones are safe. So you're being guided and protected here, potentially by spirit, potentially by your ancestors, potentially by you doing some spiritual protection, you spiritual warrior, you. What do we got here? Oh, shit. The court. In the long road. Okay. That's not good. A rich girl. No, 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 no. Okay. A rich girl, the court, and a long road. So... The court could be a legal battle for some of you. If some of you are getting sued or you're suing somebody here. We also have like a little bit of a reflection energy, 23 and 32. So we're going to see. Oh, we also have the 35. What the, f what the fuck is going on? Uh, yeah. So let's talk about this. Let's see what's going on, Saj. I think um, this is going to be an interesting reading. This is shaping up for a little bit of an interesting reading. We'll see. Some of you could be going through court. I'm trying to feel what a different energy would be for the court in the long road. Because obviously... Not every single one of us are going to court. <laughs> I ain't going to court and I'm a Sagittarius and I got no desire to go to court. Uh, let's see what's going on. Court could also just represent judgment. Maybe you're being judged. Maybe somebody's judging you. Uh, we'll see here. Let's see what's going on. Sagittarius. I know what card flip. There it is. Wow, yeah. We start this with the Five of Cups. We have the King of Wands. There's you. We have the Emperor. Some BDE in this house with some masculine energy. A lot of Aries Leo Sag energy here. Okay. We have the Eight of not the eight of wands the seven of wands in reverse we have the queen of wands. someone getting a divorce here maybe with the king and the queen of wands here the queen of wands is, the queen of wands is upside down wow there's an eight of pentacles there's been a long road there's a five of swords here oh wow the queen of swords a feminine energy is a little angry here there's a star going through some healing Okay, I do feel for some of you, we're talking about a divorce here, um, and it might have been a very long proceeding with this rich girl here. <laughs> um, there could be some alimony or child support payments, or um, there could be a lawsuit in which someone's winning. So let's see what's going on here, because you need to know that while you're going through this, you and your loved ones are being safe, guided, and protected here, Sag, and they really want you to live in the present, which tells me this has been a difficult time. We might be coming into kind of a specific reading here. Uh, what do we want to know about the Five of Cups? Let's start about this here for Saj. What is the Five of Cups energy? How are we starting this today? There's the past. Thinking a lot about what happened here. Thinking a lot about what happened here. There's the Eight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So this could be a work thing too, or maybe you're suing an employer, or you have um, maybe like a WSIB claim. I don't know what it's called in other countries, but like workers' compensation, you know, injured at work or something. Um, and maybe you're just taking a break from work because you get so much motherfucking money. Um, but we have the Ace of Swords in reverse and we have the Strength. So there's been a lot of overanalyzing and a lot of overthinking here about something from the past that is definitely weighing on your mind very strongly. For this card to come out and the court to come out, I just feel like someone feels kind of threatened about their family here. They're familiar. Whoa, what is this? Wow, but you need to get the message you're going to win. <laughs> okay? Page of Wands and Six of Wands. So what you need to know is you are going to win because um, we definitely have a family of the king, the queen, and the page. This is a, a father, a mother, and a child. Um, and I think we had a knight. There's a teenager. So, and there's a Six of Cups. So you need to get the message. First of all, I think you're giving this a lot of attention here, Saj. But also um, get the message you're going to win. Maybe you're going through something here and, and you don't feel like it's going to turn out in your favor. Or maybe you feel like you're being... I get the feeling too, like it could be a work thing here where you're not getting promoted. You're not getting valued. You're not getting respected. You're being incorrectly judged or harshly judged. You're on the wrong side of politics or the wrong side of promotions and things aren't working out. It's been a very frustrating energy here. Uh, let's get to this King of Wands. Is this Saj? Is this someone else? Who is? Because these could be bosses, right? This could be one boss, two boss, and there you are like, fuck you, motherfuckers. You guys aren't giving me my promotion. All right, well, let's just see who this King of Wands is. What's going on? Who's this King of Wands? What do we need to know? This person you're withdrawing from. This person you're about to hear from. This is a person that hurt you. And there's a fresh... Oh, yeah, but you don't give a fuck. Queen of Swords. Hell no. Eight of Wands. 
the magician, the fool, and the eight of cups. Well, well, well. Oh, this person's toxic. Okay. So the devil, <laughs> damn, who is this person? Uh, this is definitely an unhealthy masculine energy here. Oh my gosh. There's a queen. Someone trying to fuck you over here, Sag. What, what is, what is going on? Um, you have a very manipulative person. There's the ace of sword. There's you. There's the empress. There's the knight. Wow. Emperor, em we have the emperor and empress. I do feel we're going through a divorce or a separation here. In this reading, seven of swords, the four of pentacles. Someone's lying, someone's cheating, someone's holding back. I'm gonna say it's the masculine energy here who is not being. Oh man, if you are going through like a child custody thing or a divorce thing, man, people's emotions can get involved. They can do some crazy fucking stupid shit. Let me tell you, I've been through Sag, been there, done that, know how it feels. I feel like someone is definitely going through that right now. Um, and with the emperor here, this would represent a masculine who's extremely stubborn. So they're gonna, you know, they know they're wrong. It's like that energy. It's like a lawyer. They know they're wrong. They know the guy committed murder, but they're still standing there arguing on behalf of the guy because that's their job. Uh, that's what they get paid to do, right or wrong. Uh, to those people, it's relevant. They're just doing their, doing their job. Um, and I feel like this guy's taking this attitude. Like, I'm just doing what I want to do. I'm doing what's best for me. I don't care about Sagittarius. Yeah, Samaran is really stubborn here and is really out. Um, well, they don't have good intentions. Wow. Two of Swords, the Three of Wands. They're a liar. This card keeps coming out. And that left you in the dust. I think this is a very negative person in your life. There they are again. Confused. I think you're confused by your actions, Sag. And the message here is um, as above, so below, as within, so without. That's what I always say. <laughs> when people are in this energy and they're doing this shit, it is a reflection of them. It is not a reflection of you. Um, and we got somebody who's very stubborn here. I'm going to even say a little manipulative. I could even say this person's trying to harm you and your family. Um, so... What's the emperor energy? What's the emperor energy here? The hierophant. The page of cups. Ah. Nine of cups. The ace of pentacles. There's that. I think this person wants to talk to you, Sag. Let me see what they want to say. I've got that feeling twice. So you're going through some kind of battle, some kind of legal battle with this person. Again, I, for many of you, I feel like whoever's resonating, it's going to be like some kind of divorce separation. This could be a work thing too, though. Um, you were treated less than stellar at your job. This person wants to talk. What do they want to say? What do they want to say to Sagittarius here? What do they... Nine of cups in reverse. Nine of wands in reverse. Put this way. And the four of cups. They feel like you're not giving them a fair chance here. There you are. And there you are saying, uh, I'm going to pull my energy back. There's the tower. There's the two of pentacles and there's the ace of wands. You're not really expecting this. So there's the six of pentacles that this person's stringing you along. This person. Okay. I don't know if I can even get to what they want, but what they want is to talk. They want to let you know that they're disappointed. They want a fresh start. They want a new beginning. They want to seem to work something out, but it, the energy that I get, and, and that's what I'm not liking. I'm not vibing with it is like, we'll just do things my way and you'll, and things will be smooth. Well, that's not really working things out. That's just being an asshole. <laughs> that's what I feel. It's like, do it my way. We're good. We're good. But if you don't want to do it my way, uh, you're, you're, you don't know what's going to happen here. I mean, you know, there's the unhealthy. I think you're getting some kind of fucking ultimatum here from this motherfucker. I don't like this motherfucker. <laughs> Sometimes when I do these readings and these people appear this way, it's like I can feel their hate. It's like, it's like, you know, on a really hot day, you can see like the air and you see the road. And it's like a little illusion. It's like, a, and that's what I feel like when I see that hate and that anger and that manipulation. It's like, it comes off the cards. It's like a little ripple to me. Um, and it's like looking at a hot day. And I know you guys know what I'm saying. So, well, let's see what the seven of wands is in reverse. Cause I, I don't know, Sag. What's the seven of wands in reverse? I don't even know if this is making sense. <laughs> I feel like Tyler's tarot. Am I connecting? I'm not connecting right now. Am I connecting? Even though he's connecting and the reading is fucking right. Um, someone's connecting. But I feel six of wands in reverse. Strength. I'm a magician. I think this is going to be a very difficult person for you um, to deal with. I think with the seven of wands and the six of wands with the strength and magician and the nine of cups, it's like an energy of when this person comes through to talk to you, I think you're going to want to kind of tear a piece of them. And when I say that, just tear like parade them up and down. You got a lot of shit you want to say to this motherfucker. I can feel it. Um, but they, it's not worth it. So that's what I mean. Like it's not worth it. This is a person who is wanting to manipulate you or wanting you to do things their way. And this is just an energy of it's not worth it. Um, it's having the courage and the strength to hold back here. See, this guy's got his arms crossed. You want to fight with me? You want to fight with me? All right, well, have a great day. I'm not in the mood to fight with you. Have Fuck you. Have a nice day, right? That's my favorite thing. Fuck you. Have a nice day. 
I wish you the best of luck, but you're not coming in my energy at this moment. So the Queen of Wands in reverse does represent drama. Um, it could represent you. Um, you could be these people up here could be reversed, right? If you're masculine, you're thinking, you know, it could be a different masculine in your energy or it could be a feminine, right? They're just cards. But um, what's the Queen of Wands in reverse here? It's energy around the cards. It's somebody embodying that energy, right? People get really focused on the genders in the comment section. And then as a tarot reader, you get all focused on the genders. <laughs> but as a tarot reader, it's just energy. Um, so Ten of Wands and the Queen of Wands in reverse with the Five of... Yeah, no drama. No more drama. You're done. You're, you're done. You're, you don't under... It's like this... You don't understand. That's a thing. It's like this one... Hmm. Maybe you just think differently. Maybe they're just manipulative. They're just trying to get you to do something. But this person wants drama. They want you to do things their way. And, it, and I swear, they're saying to you, you do it my way, you're good. But if you don't do this my way, oh, it's going to be hell for you. It's like an ultimatum. It's like a threat. And you're just like, well, just know that you and your family are protected and safe here. People like this, yeah, there's big luck. So we have a rich girl, big luck and high honors. So you will be and end up on top here. This person's not going to get what they want, especially with that type of attitude. Um, but it is causing some drama, some strife and some issues in your life. You may end up having to go to court because you're not going to do what they want you to do. This could be a work thing, too. They're trying to make you do something unethical. And you're like, no, I'm not doing that. That's like fucking against the law or against the Consumer Protection Act. or It's against my morals. I'm not doing that. And they're like, do it or you're fired. That is the feeling I get. So let's talk about this Knight of Pentacles. What's the message here with this Knight of Pentacles here? Because I got the Five of Swords here. The Five of Swords is a card of revenge and anger, but it's also the card of turning your back on people and situations that don't serve you. Is there really any point in having a conversation with the, with the Emperor here when you know he's in that state of mind? Probably not. It's not going to really go anywhere or benefit you. These cards just flipped out upside down. The exact same cards. Four p okay. It's very clear. This is an energy of not engaging. Uh, this could be someone who's trying to get and use some evidence against you. Maybe that is a court thing and they want to go to court or a work thing and say, look at Saji. They're hot headed. They're temperamental. They can't control themselves. They can't work here. This is why they, you know, so it's like they're trying to gather evidence to use against you. Um, which is in itself quite manipulative. And the message here with the Four of Pentacles in reverse, the Ten of Swords in reverse, the Five of Wands is do not engage. Um, because whatever you do will be used and said against you in the court of law, right? You just treat this man like a popo, like a police. Um, and anything you say and do will be used against you in the court of law. Because that's what I, I think that's what they say. I'm not a police. I don't know. I've never had someone read me my rights. But I think those are the rights. I've seen them in movies. <laughs> that's about it. Um, for this little Sagittarius up in this joint. But... Yeah, see, there's walking away from it. So it's not getting, um, so if they come they give you an ultimatum, they say, do what I got to do, or, you know, don't respond uh, because they're trying to make you look bad. They're trying to manipulate you. They're try they have ulterior motives and they're giving you an ultimatum and a threat. And if you don't do what they want to do, they're going to take action or do something you don't want them to do. And it's like, they're trying to get you to react here. They're trying to get evidence or used against you or make you look bad in that sense. And I feel like with the long road here, first of all, if this is a court thing, it's been a long battle. But second of all, I feel like it's been a long process with this person. And that's why, look at all this. But ah, there's the prison. You felt trapped. A change. Occupation it is an unexpected money. Maybe some of you are suing your work or your former employer here. And they're trying to, to find evidence to use against you. So just act accordingly, right? Govern yourself accordingly. <laughs> and make sure you ain't giving this motherfucker no evidence for whoever is resonating with this. Because I think it's kind of specific. But... That's what we got, Sag. So let's grab some oracles. You got someone here who's threatening you or giving you ulterior motives or ultimatums. And this person is not someone who's coming from a good place. But I feel like with this message here, you have some loyal ancestors protecting you and guiding you and making sure that they don't get away with whatever they're trying to do up here. So let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say. We'll get back to the tarot, Sag. What does Sag need to... Yeah, just take a break. Prevent burnout. You might be really stressed. Slow down and honor your need for quiet time for peaceful and, and okay, excuse me. Let me restart this card because I didn't read this right at all. To prevent a burnout, slow down. Honor your need for quiet time, peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, your body, and your spirit. And that way you're completely balanced. And when this person tries to do whatever the hell they're trying to do, there's no reaction from you. You can just be a poker face. Lady Gaga, poker face. All right, what's the um, Christ consciousness message here to help Sag with this? What's the Christ consciousness? What does Yeshua want to say? Holy anger, be the change. Yeah, this person, that's what I, <laughs> this card is all about using your anger for motivation and positive forces instead of destruction, right? Anger is just an emotion. It's how we use it to determine if it's going to be positive or negative. 
And this is using your anger for positive. This is transforming your anger and transmuting it into something beautiful and using it as motivation as opposed to something that can be used against you. So this is helping and allowing your anger to create more positive change and using your anger in a positive manner. Can I say that any more different times? But I did. <laughs> okay, let's grab your spirit animal card here. Let me grab it, let me grab it. Let me grab it. Spirit animal. Spirit animal message for it. Okay, so there it is again. You're definitely protected from this person. So you're entering a phase where in order to be in alignment with your intentions and co-create your best life, you have to be discerning and say no to things that have been holding you back in the past. Maybe this was a spouse, a husband, or whatever it was. I can speculate, but you know what I'm saying. Well, you know what the card says, so <laughs> you got the message. So cougar in leadership, you've come into your own power. And this is a time to take lead of a situation and be strong. Using the power of intentions, be clear with your purpose and define where you are heading. Don't let this person define that for you. What's the energy oracle message here for Sag? Energy oracle message. Crapola. <laughs> oh, it fell. Whoa, that like psych. That was weird. So the card cycled, it fell off the table, it hit my couch, and it ricocheted and boomeranged right back to me. <laughs> okay. Ah, and the card was anxiety. Okay, we feel that, we feel that. Okay, when one comes out of the deck, the message in the book, Sag, I've always believed that and I always will. So one moment, I shall get your message. This card is very clearly about worry and distress. So receiving this card indicates that you're experiencing a time of increasing stress, perhaps even a situation that you find yourself brooding about much of the time. However, if you'll notice the scene outside the window, take a peek, see, take a peek, see, the storm is distant and moving away. So whatever's going on, this card is telling you to release the worry and let yourself relax. Brooding and fretting will never solve things, so trust in yourself and in your process. When you live with a relaxed heart and mind, you're more likely to receive the solutions that you seek. So again, getting out of any reactionary energy or anxiety when you're anxious, you're living in the future, and it's just about living in the present, um, planning for your future but um sound in that mind because sometimes our anxieties can actually draw in that anxiety and you don't want to draw that in here sag what's the, for those of you where this is career uh what's the career advice here for sag tip okay there's a lot <laughs> unfolding so access to greater prosperity is opening up for you slowly so you are growing as you learn more and keep expanding and saving face ah uh, yeah you might need to grin and bear it to maintain respect and keep your job, or you need to smile and make nice to get the position that you want, okay? Success. The path that you are on will bring success and prosperity if you keep going. So there's lots of little steps to take along the way, but you are on track. And guidance. Divine forces are showing you the way to go. You are discovering another piece of your destiny and your purpose in this life. All right, well, let me grab, I'm going to grab these guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let's get your, <coughs> excuse me, I got a frog in my throat all of a sudden, potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, there's always free will. You're going to make the decisions, you're going to make your side. When I say outcome, let's see how things are going. Let's see how things progress. Let's see how things, do oh shit, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, there's a two of cups. Why are you upside down? What's going on here? What else we got? Knight of Cups is in reverse. We have two knights. They be upside down. Okay. There's the three of pentacles. There's the high priestess. What's in the bottom here? Page of cups. We have three. Oh no, I was gonna say we have three pages. We don't, we have two knights and a page. There's the king of wands. Oh, he's, what? You haven't, you're not, there's the page. What the hell? What is going on? <laughs> like, I feel like you're in like some kind of case conference and you're like, listen, I'm not gonna settle with you. I'm not gonna do what you want. You're being unreasonable. And they're like, come on, you got to do what I want you to do. You got to do what I want you to do. This is like a very controlling and manipulative person. And, and then I get victimization when I see this. They're playing the victim. And we got a bunch of pages and, and knights here. So there's a lot of communication. And when there's a lot of pages and knights in a reading, especially if two knights are upside down, it does represent conflict. It represents young people getting petty, getting immature, not fully. And when I say young people, <laughs> I'm going to rephrase that to say young souls, okay? Because some young people will be more mature than old people. Some old people will be more mature than young people. Um, I believe our maturity is based on our experiences and our soul level and uh, where we are in our development uh, through life. It's, anyway, let me. I just want to rephrase that. I don't want to offend anybody because not every young person is immature. <laughs> So it just represents immaturity and pettiness um, from somebody acting a foot. You know, this guy could be 75 acting this way, right? So um, I feel like you just want harmony. You just want peace. I just feel like this person still wants to fight and argue. I don't see a resolution. That's what's 
kind of frustrating me. Um, I feel like this person's playing the victim. They might be very, very uh, charming. It's like a, like a example I'm using in my head. I don't want to give out like, because sometimes the, the, the evilest people in the world are very charming and attractive, right? The devil and Satan and temptation, it doesn't look like the devil, Satan and temptation. <laughs> it looks like a beautiful butterfly. It looks like a beautiful, uh, lovely, like Dairy Queen peanut butter parfait that just looks scrumptious. So it's somebody who doesn't look like what they're projecting. Um, they got a mask on and you're frustrated. Now they're feeling victimization and I feel they're trying to guilt you or manipulate you. I want to understand these knights in reverse because I don't feel a, a resolution here, Sag. I feel like you're still going through this. I feel like you're still dealing with it. With the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, I feel like it's not taking... I feel like it's not doing things their way. But I, it's like this energy. If you don't do it their way, you're in for a challenge. And that's how they want it to be. What is the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups? You gotta be... The judgment. Like, it took me a minute to react because I don't understand this person. I've never met someone in a tarot reading that I didn't understand so much. <laughs> That sounds so weird, um, but I don't understand. Okay, we gotta let it go. There's the Ace of Pentacles. The way to be successful is to hold your strength, is to be courage, to hold back, not to, it's almost like someone's, like you're you're standing in a parking lot and someone's yapping at you, yapping at you, so you trying to irk 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 you, and you're just standing there. And that's really what they want you to do because the more, they're trying to make you look bad, but the more they try, they're going to look bad. And the less attention you give to them, the more angry. Look at the, I always feel like this little, look at this horse, like shit, I can't get to Sagittarius. I can't trigger her or him. I can't poke that bear. I can't piss them off because Sagittarius is disciplined and controlled. And this is making the choice to go forward and not understand. Like this is kind of what I was just saying is I don't understand this person. And this is you. Like, I don't understand what you're doing. I don't understand what you're coming from. I don't understand your point of view, your perspective. You're acting like an idiot. Um, and in order to get the harmony in the situation, and I feel like actually harmony in your life, you're going to have to, you know, kill them with silence instead of kill them with kindness <laughs> um, and not engage. And that's the message here is to not engage with the pettiness. Don't, don't get involved with it. Like if you're going through court and this person's dragging you through the mud, um, don't drag them through the mud. Focus on the issues and keep bringing it back to the issues and let them look stupid. Let them look like a fool. Let them get away from the issues and go over to left field and throw all this mud and this fling in the shit. Stick to the issues, stick to the problems, stick to the sources. Um, and then for those of you where this isn't court, uh, harmony will be restored in your life by ignoring this motherfucker. High priestess. Not doing what they're telling you to do. Doing what's best for you, but not sinking to their level. Like this is avoiding acting like them, basically, Sag, which um, for that to come out, you might like, I do feel that's a message for the people in court. I know when I went through court, that was what my, my lawyer always said. Uh, the judge does not care about how much the parents hate each other. <laughs> the judge cares about how much and what's best for the child. And if the parents hate each other, so be it. Most parents do hate each other. If it's divorcing, they're not hunky-dory holding a uh, can singing kumbaya in the forest. So keep it to the issues. Keep it straight. Not about how much you dislike this person. Same if it's work. No personal digs. Keep it uh, to the issues is what I feel they're trying to say there. And uh, like avoid acting like them, basically. Whatever your situation is, don't act like them. Uh, take the high road. And that's what will bring harmony and balance into this connection. So avoid trying to act like them. There's the hold back. I, I trust your intuition. I feel this person is um, someone that you've had a long history with. Ah, that's the wrong card. <laughs> I know we had a long journey card. <laughs> where it is? I don't know. Where did, where did it go? I don't know. But it was here. I know it was here. Oh, there. No, it's not there. Fuck it. I don't know. But you know what I'm saying. So uh, stay determined. Stay focused, Sag. Don't sink to their level. Don't allow this person to draw you into their little web of deceit. Stay true to yourself, and that's how you'll get harmony, peace, and happiness in the situation. But be aware, they got alternative motives. They're manipulative. This is the most un... Well, this is the person that I understand the least out of every tarot reading I've ever done in my life. <laughs> I think I've done, like, millions of these things. I don't know. But um, this person isn't acting logically. They're acting from a place of emotion. And when people act from a place of emotion, they get into their lower virtues and their animal instinct. And as psychologists say, when we get into that state, logic leaves. And you're basically acting like a, like a lion in the jungle. <laughs> and that's what I feel this person's doing. You know, in Mean Girls, when they have, like, the people fighting in the cafeteria, and then they, like, meme them, and they're all, well, memeing wasn't a thing back then, but, and they kind of transform them all to, like, monkeys and hyenas and, and, and put them in the jungle kind of energy. This guy's in the jungle, and you're going to stay in the city. <laughs> all right, Saj, so I'll let this reading go. That's what I got. That's what's up. That's what's going down. I feel this has been a journey. I wish you the best of luck. I feel bad for you. 
Hopefully you never meet someone like that in your life again. And that's what I got. So Saj, if you like your reading, <laughs> if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe because it does help my channel to grow. And I always appreciate your support. Thank you. Um, and let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. Yes or no? What's the answer for Sag? The answer is no. That's what I have, Sagittarius. I really do wish you the best of luck. Until next time.